Hey YouTube, Network Wizkid here, and in this nugget, we're going to take a look at how to delete the following error. Or more so, not really delete, but how to get around it and fix it. Now, for those that have actually encountered this error, you will know that you've tried to use a VMDK uh, file. And when you attach that to a machine, it fails to run. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can actually fix this error. The main reason for getting this error is because you need to convert the uh, VMDK first before you're able to use it. So we'll just take a look at um, how we actually get that error and how we can um, fix the error. So we're going to start off by actually recreating the error. So what we'll do is we will create another virtual machine and try attach the disk to that so if we just go to create we're going to create a virtual machine quickly we'll call it test and we'll give it uh, ubuntu 64 bit and we'll use my normal data store and what we'll do is we'll delete the disk there and we'll try and attach the existing disk. So for this one, we're using a Metasploitable VMDK. So if I just go ahead and attach that now, just go through to next and finish that. And finish that. So if I try now to power this on, let's give it a try. You can see there at the top of the screen we're presented with um, this error. Failed to open disk SCSI00 unsupported or invalid disk type 7. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we convert this first. So to do that within ESXi you need to enable SSH um, if you haven't got that enabled for ESXi. And then once you've got that enabled we need to access the CLI of your ESXi host and we need to basically convert the file so this is the output that we're going to use for the purpose of this lab but essentially what we're doing here is we, we are navigating to um, the VMDK file and we're um, converting that and placing it in another folder and giving it a different name. So what we'll do is we'll do this now. So if I just paste that in for the purpose of this video. We have a failed there, so something's not right in my file. So we need to check. So looking at the actual data store, I think what's wrong is the name here that should be a capital M so as we can see now that's cloning now that I've done that so we give that a couple of minutes to clone and wait until that's finished and then what we should see is the uh, clone in to test so that looks like it's done now so we look at two tests there, we can see there that we have a VMDK now. And we've still got the old one there. So we change the name to Metasploitable 2. So what we'll do now, we'll go back to that test machine and try and attach this instead. And then we should be able to power it on. So we'll just edit that machine. And what we want to do now is want to delete the hard disk originally because we can see that it's still attached to the normal VMDK file. And then we'll add a new hard disk from existing hard drive. Navigate to two test and we're going to select the new one that we've just converted. Press save on that. And now when we try power it on it should be successful as you see here it's starting to power on now 
and that is how you successfully convert a VMDK file for use with ESXi when presented with the error we showed at the start of the video. Thank you for watching.